Ow. Nice. Ooh. First high level 1v1 I won there. Almost whiffed it, but instead it gave him the whiffing. Oh. Feels good, dude. I am back. Yes, I have risen again with some more New World content. And this time we are still making the best fire mage in the lands, or at least this server. And in order to do so, I need to worry about combat experience. So in this episode, the goal is to get as much combat XP as I can and hopefully try to get at least to level 50. Also, I do think it is possible for me to become the richest person in Topin, which is my server, but it's gonna take a lot of hard work. So next episode, I'm gonna be going over every moneymaker that I've created personally, every merch that I've created personally, and of course, the ones that I've found online. And I'm so excited to not only make money, but level up. So if you guys want that episode, Make sure to hit 500 likes and I'll get it out as soon as possible. Either way, I appreciate all the support. The quality in the videos will be going up. I figured out how to record better quality, so stay tuned for that. And let's jump right back into some New World games. I'm going to get this one. All right, the last one I'm going to buy. I just went from 8,000 gold to... Can't even wield that one. 3,600. Oh, I can't wield that one. Damn it. Oh. He wasn't paying attention or something. He bought two he couldn't wield. Yo, I, I can't wield any of these. This better be in the next video. Is Oh my god. This he is literally so ass. said if it's the Shut up, man! Hey! <laughs> so up, okay. bro. I got the axe! Now to head to another territory for the first time. Weaver's Ben. This is actually taken over by the Syndicate as well. And like I said from last episode, Brightwood War was won. Sadly, I didn't get picked. A lot of people level 40 already, but hopefully I'll be in a war soon. And uh, we're going to be doing the next part of the Syndicate quest for Tier 4 stuff. Bumble Blossom. First time grabbing that. I got four. No idea what that is, but the way I'm playing this game is collect everything till you know what it does. Making our way into the very spooky looking... Down for the first time. Very nice. Control by the Acolyte. I know some of those guys. Oh, I just maxed my fire staff. Nice. I've been I've been wanting to max my fire staff for a while. Level 20 fire staff. Now I'm gonna start training, I think, the spear. I'm gonna grab that from my bank. I got a really nice spear from the Overboss. Uh it's a blue one. I'll show you guys later. Like the last one I'll get is trial by fire. Now I could respec this at any time. It only costs 200 Azeroth, but yeah, maxing out the Fire Staff for the Fire Mage build is amazing. This is as strong as my fire will be. Gotta level up my intelligence even more. Level 37, two more levels, and I can wield all the stuff I just bought. Same same area I was in, except it's a little less foggy now. I guess they got a pretty side too. So this should be it. Let's turn it in. Very nice. All right, let's see if we and buy the tier three rewards. Yes, we can, the Chronicler. And with the tier three rewards come another rune, which lets me build an even bigger bag, the greater rune of holding. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and buy that right now. And I plan to make that later. I'm not even sure if I have the level for it. If not, I could probably just sell it straight up, but that is amazing. So I am back from that very scary place, level 37. At 39, I can wield everything I want to wield to gather, but I want to make that bigger bag. And right now, that's going to take 100 armoring. That means I need hemp, I need iron ore, I need to kill these little brown rabbits and buffalo out here to make and train that skill. I also got the spear out that I got from that boss. It is my first purple weapon and I want to kind of try to learn the spear mastery since I maxed fire staff. Level 38 slicing up some weird hounds that are on fire man. Also got out the spear you already know but now I got my first spell. Everyone's taking all the hemp right now man. It is ridiculous. This is a hundred harvesting. Skilling is a bit faster than it is on RuneScape. Not super fast, but fast enough to the point where I'm not gonna show you every level I get, but I will show you when I unlock a certain milestone or a new item I can harvest, mine, or skin. 
And speaking of harvesting, mining, and skinning, we did so much in this episode that I will give you a progress clip at the very end to show you where we're at. Because I was secretly mining, harvesting, and skinning, trying to get those bags, and my levels up as fast as I could. And I'm not going to show you all that, but I will show you where we are at the end of that, because it was quite a lot. And also, we did hit up the next dungeon with another underleveled squad, my squad, and we went in blind. And I will show you just the boss fight. This is our fifth attempt. We kept getting wiped. Not super crazy difficult, but when you go in blind and not knowing what to expect, it will hit you by surprise. Okay, we good. All right, everyone, heal up, heal up. Reposition yourself, start doing damage. Boom. Two of them. Three of them. Jump. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Alright, more damage, more damage, more damage. Get those heals on the mid. Nice, nice, nice. Right, let's just keep poking it. We'll just keep poking it. I got maybe two more dodge rounds. And we got this. Nice. Rocking the damage. I think it's over. Hey 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 hey. Not even close, baby. Oh my baby. god, that is over a final, thank god. Oh. That was actually pretty good, like... Yeah. Not even gonna lie. Like, uh, not even that, that crazy hard. Well, it was a little bit, but still. Yes, mastery points, mastery points. Oh my God. And I got a spear for killing that dude with a spear. How weird. Oh, I just got level 39. So right now I am in one of my favorite places for crafting and yeah, I don't know why it does that sometimes. This is Cutlass Keys in one of the forts and these things spawn like crazy, you get 50 hide per. I just need a couple more hide to get 100 armoring for the big bag. Uh, and I got level 39, meaning I can wield all of my star gathering supplies. So I'm gonna have to go grab my sickle. I will be set, man. I got everything else on though. Oh, it's so purdy. I think this is it. Yes, level 100. Level 100. Oh my god, that took forever. I can make the big bag. What do we need to make the big bag? I hope I have it. I don't think I can make it at this uh, area. I need some linen, layered leather. Uh, I could probably make that. And then I already got the root of holding. So let's go make this. I'm very excited. Okay, this took forever to make. I had to learn how to make layered leather to go find linen. Oh, and I had to buy this, which was so expensive. Please give me something good. I get extra pockets, bro. I bet I could sell this for so much. It's a rare. <laughs> oh, I bet I could sell it for so much, bro. But that is mine. It's time to wield it. Oh my god. 643 space? I think the goal is to try to make one more and I'll uh I'll be full. I've just grinded for one more of these bags. So let's pop the bag up. We got everything we need. Add the max amount of Azeroth. And if it doesn't have the pocket bonus, I'm gonna sell it and then make another because these are going for a lot. So let's see what we get. It is extra pockets yet again. Oh my god. So we're set. We just we just got back to back extra pockets. Meaning uh we can now hold 800 things. <laughs> oh my god. So I'm gonna go ahead and do just what I did, but this time I'm gonna sell them. Let's see how much you can make. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell a couple. Oh big fight. Oh, I just killed like two people or something? Ooh, big fight. Ooh. I'm just ain't trying to get in the middle of it, but I'll poke him down. Oh, oh no. These are both random teams, dude. <laughs> oh my god. What did I just get? <laughs> oh, bro, I got some good stuff from this, dude. And he's dead. I'm doing some solo PvP and out here and uh <laughs> yeah, these thank god they were here. Or I would have died. What did I get? Holy sh I've been grinding. I've been 
grinding. And right now we have two, two of these bags, which it took a while. So I'm gonna sell one on the trading post and I'm gonna sell one to my buddy. So let's see what we get here. Extra pockets. Extra, they both have extra pockets. Thank God. Thank God. Okay. Why does it show pants? Dude, that scared me. Why does it show pants? <laughs> that scared me, bro. I'm like, did I just make pants? I'd be so mad. All right. Very good. Very good. Insane. Would have been awful if those were pants. Amazon, I would have cried. I really would have. Oh, I just hit level 40. I turned the quest in from Hercules, uh, <laughs> which is uh, from the tier two dungeon that we were doing. So nice level 40, man. Oh my God, and a fight. All right, after a beautiful, beautiful iron farming moment, we have legit 16 to almost 1700 iron ore. So we make 400, this will be going towards engineering. Um, but that was insane. I might make that to steel bars, but yeah, we are. Oh, dude, that's so nice. So I was looking at my inventory earlier and I realized there's a lot more cash in my MV. And I just want to open up my orders. Completed and expired. And I have sold a satchel <laughs> tier four for 4,200 gold and 69. Oh my God, bro. And this, this also sold too, which is insane. So now we got some money. I do plan to make more of those, but we're doing some main quests right now. And uh, just getting that, getting that XP, bro. The competition is Ooh, 41. The there we go. So I'm just outside Windsward, my favorite town. Slapping up these boulders. Oh my God. Look at that. A butt cheek clench away from 100. Uh, this should be it though, hopefully. Nice. Now I can mine star metal. Kind of something I wanted to get out of the way. Next will be wood cutting. Probably not right away though. And uh, using the stone for stone cutting. Because I'm going to go ahead and cut a lot of the gems I have in my bank. Level 42. We are doing some corrupted areas. Trying to get a tuning orb so we can go back to that dungeon. I want to upgrade my gear, man. Level 43. I thought I'd try the town boards. I just started. I just started. This is how everyone's leveling up. So they're just going from town to town. I'm going to try it out, see what the experience is like. 44. A couple routes uh, in. I'm getting a little better at this. Uh, I got to say, this uh, this is some getting used to, man. But I'm learning the game a lot through this, so it's, so it's not bad. Hey, hey, level 45. This is a bit faster than normal method. Just takes a bit of learning. I probably won't power level the whole way, but 45 is going to be amazing. First, let's just go ahead very close to the next level for uh, intelligence at 250 which is awesome but now we get an extra bag slot meaning our inventory is going to be even crazy let's go ahead grab another bag all right here it is pop it in and we are now over a thousand weight in our inventory which is insane and that will be going up even more later on i well put these territory points i need a lot of territory points for this Right now, I'm pretty much just going for storage. Storage is key. So give me all the storage I can get, man, because I am running out. Of course, gathering speed. Ooh, 125 harvesting, man. I've been uh, doing the routes, almost level 46, just a sliver away, and I found this really nice potato collection, and potatoes are selling for five to 10 gold. So, <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, I've been hitting up farms, man, for really good money while doing these runs, and it's working out pretty well. Ooh, level 46. Told you we're pretty close. Almost 250 intelligence. My first star metal vein. I just hit 100 mining this episode, of course. And uh, finally, I find one vein, 42 star metal. I would really like to get my engineering up so I can make star metal tools and sell them. But for now, I'm just getting my combat level up, of course. 47. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Now, since I'm level 47, I can now... Oh. Dude, I'm well above that. I don't, I don't know why, but it might be because I have a staff on, but yeah. We have just unlocked a while ago, apparently, 30% more duration to damage over time spells, which is really good for my fire and ice that I'm learning, and 10% yield. So I'm actually trying to unlock the ice now. And with that, this spell should be pretty insane. So I'm about to do my first flip in this game, and I have no idea if this is gonna work. 
I have a thousand broccoli. I have bought all the broccoli in the land. Just to show you guys, you go to broccoli, go to all settlements. I have bought all the cheapest broccoli that you can find. Really, this guy only has one. So really, if you go to Winsward, you can buy maybe a hundred for two. But this is it. I own pretty much most of broccoli in the game. <laughs> and I am now at the, the cooking capital. It's the tier four cooking area. And uh, I'm about to sell this for, because my broccoli actually already sold for about three to four. So I should be able to sell this. Maybe, we'll put it at 420, man. We'll, we'll, we'll be whimsy here. <laughs> See if this works, dude. Because my broccoli earlier sold so fast. Will this sell? I don't know. Will my flip fail? Possibly. But if not, I am the broccoli man. Boys, I woke up. I was excited to see if any of my broccoli sold. And sadly, only 100 broccoli sold, but a lot of other stuff did. We're at 7.6K, so we didn't really lose money. But at the same time, we didn't gain a ton either. So, looks like the vegetable market is uh, a bit slow paced tonight. Maybe it'll sell over the weekend. Got all, I'm, I, I got so many vegetables on the market. Hoping I'd wake up and be rich. Pick up on this poor little dude. Oh my god. I'm liking the ice gauntlets, boys. He couldn't move at all. Oh, bro. I mean, he is a lot lower level than me, but just to keep them still is legit the hardest thing. 48? I think what I'm going to do now, let's just go ahead and give myself some more intelligence here. Very nice is I'm gonna try to get the level 50 off the town boards and then probably end up the progress and maybe a couple of raids if I can grab some. I'm kind of messing around with the uh, trading post and flipping. I keep buying out all the broccoli and selling it. I know it's weird, semi working, I'm getting better at it. But yeah, I'm gonna see if I get the level 50 with the, the trading boards. I think next episode, I'm gonna just focus on money makers. Ooh, 110 mining, apparently that's a good level. I don't know, still doing these. I've not been down here before, but I have so much tannin, which is needed to make hides, that it's great. I got like at least 2,000 gold of tannin, so we are set. 49, one more level. Level 50. Oh, dude, these are so nice. If I ever need a level, I'll do this, but I still have so many main stories and levels I want to get through crafting and skilling. But this was nice to get level 50. So I'm going to stop at level 50 the town boards. I'm gonna grind out some weapons that are best in slot for me at the moment. Also, I have been merching strawberries so hard. They go for about 20 each where I go, uh, where, where I'm at. So I buy them for about 10 in the market, loot them. It's going well, gotta sell a bit, but we are the vegetable fruit farmer right now. We are, <laughs> you have all your needs. I just made another bag before we go head out and grind some armor. Uh, I've been making all my friends bags. So one of my boys gave me an extra uh, rune. So I made that with extra pockets perk. This should sell for quite some bit. Very, very nice. Yo, what is this? Undertow. This thing drops insane stuff. I also got some boots plus 16 intelligence. We're just grinding out this one purple floating thing. Oh, I need the fire staff. That is not what I want. But that is insane, bro. No way. Actually, I can wield this. It's earring fees. I'm gonna put it on. Yo, look at that. I got plus 17 strength on this account for some reason. <laughs> oh, earrings, baby. Yo, my broccoli just sold. My broccoli just sold all of it. Oh my God. I don't know if I recorded it, but I just went up a thousand gold. Or at least, th at least 300 broccoli sold somewhere. We're still grinding this. Apparently there's really good gloves I can get. Hopefully I get them. Uh, but yeah, just sold some broccoli up back to five, almost 5k gold. So nice. I have just logged back in to record the very end of this video, show you guys all the progress we have made. We are level 50 now, almost halfway to level 51, which is very nice. My arms are missing for some reason, like I'm Raymond. I have, I have literally no idea why. And my gold is now at over 10,000. Sadly, could have been higher, but for some reason, Seems people are understanding that vegetables and fruit sell for good money and they're underselling me. But we did sell some stuff though. So if you go to my orders, you go to complete and expired. We sold some uh, raid gear that we got from the last raid and some bosses. And of course, this big adventure satchel 
We're over 3,000. Now we have a lot of money to play with. I'm gonna have to try to learn how to merch for next episode. The broccoli game is just not going how I want it. It's still gonna be profitable. I just wanted a lot more profit. Uh, I can't really do a bank video. It's too messy, maybe one day when I got it all organized, but I just have been harvesting literally everything left and right. But I can show you guys my skills. So if we go to trade skills here, I'm gonna go ahead and move my head and you could see all of my levels. So we did max out tracking and skinning, 111 mining, 147 harvesting, insane, 100 weaving, uh, just a lot of skills you get up. Literally no furnishing yet. Jewel crafting is very low. And I believe my fishing is lacking. I really want to get into fishing. That could actually be in the money making episode. It is very, very good money. That'll be next time. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you are not. Like always, I will see you in the next episode.